So far, so good. Been running for a couple minutes now. She ain't overheating. So. degree thermostat so right now the thermostat should be open even better news the temperature dropped once the fans kicked in she ain't overheating I say uh, some success now I just got to mount my new racing seat in here and everything and she'll be ready to rock and roll hopefully I mean, some more test driving on the road will determine that now the question is how am I gonna mount this seat Actually, it's pretty comfortable right where it is. Oh, maybe it has to come forward a little bit more. But other than that, shut the door here. I don't mind this at all. Yeah, race car. And then, you got my different steering wheel in here? Yes. It's actually a third gen Camaro steering wheel with a Fiero horn button. But, uh, yeah, I just got to figure out how to mount this racing seat. It's got to forward a little bit more, but then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Time for a test drive around the block. Probably happen tomorrow. So, a little excited. Woo! Got the AC pump out. Put in this nice bypass pulley. Ooh, now I got to refix the exhaust and hook up the sway bar. And that should be it for under the Camaro. Woo! Well, the racing seat's installed. Yep, she ain't moving anywhere. Except I think she I got her a little bit too close. Which kind of sucks, because that'd be ripping it all back apart, drilling a bunch of new holes. So that part kind of sucks, because this brake pedal is like kind of a bitch to get to. Or else the rest of it doesn't seem all that uncomfortable. Just a brake pedal reaching up like that kind of sucks. Yeah, that brake pedal's a little kind of close. I don't know if it shows up real well, but... I don't know, it's like sitting like this doesn't seem all that uncomfortable. So, I don't know. I'm not uncomfortable like this, but... Like that brake pedal, that's way up there. Ah, oh, shit. Changing the fluid and the... 96 Camaro's 256. Uh, there's some little little bits of shininess in there. Uh, I think this transmission's gonna be due for an overhaul pretty quick. It's gonna be kinda lame. Yeah, so what I do with the transmission in an F-body Camaro, you kinda fill it from the top. And this transmission in particular is going bad. The bearing that's going bad. And so my uh, temporary fix is much like my Fiero. Just dumping a bunch of Lucas oil stabilizer and call it good. Well, I followed the instructions on the bottle. The bottle says on light duty transmissions, you can run up to 25%. So, like this particular car, being that it takes four quarts, it gets one quart of Lucas, and the other Dexron 3. So, that is my, uh, my short-term solution to a long-term problem. Well, the shakedown test went pretty good. Uh, it's not overheating. Is driving exactly the way I remember, which isn't uh, the most friendliest. 
as uh, it doesn't like to idle when it comes to a stop. Only when you come to a stop. If I fire it up now, it'll idle great. Drive it around the block, come to the first stop sign, and it will either stall or come pretty close to stalling. And my oil pressure gauge, I think, fixed itself. It's accurate now, so I don't know what's that about. Um, or at least my AEM one is. So, yeah, I mean, other than that, everything is going good so far. But I'm going to try throwing in the stock injectors and see if that solves my idle issue. Hopefully it does. Though I do say the seat is kind of too close. Normal driving, it actually isn't that bad. But it's going for that brake pedal kind of sucks. I mean, whoa, come on. Oh, it really is being a bitch. comes back so yeah that's working great now because other than that I mean I just drove all over my town here and yeah that's it so that issues are all solved on that when I change the oil and yeah and those injectors and see where that gets me